Hi, welcome to 2secondswatch.com. This is a review. If you like this watch, you can purchase it on our website, 2secondswatch.com. Yeah? Today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a watch from Rolex. Okay, Everyone knows Rolex, we know the crown, and this is actually uh, one of the uh, beautiful pieces as um, I will show you. Not your very, very common Rolex. So, this is a Rolex box. Um, it's got a beautiful crown here, green box. Condition is fairly good for its age. And let's have a look at it. There you go. Let me get the camera in focus. So this is the Rolex Yacht Master 40mm. Take out the crown out. With the beautiful platinum bezel and platinum dial as well. Uh, you can see here that this watch is in really, really good condition. Um, it has been worn, okay? it has been polished, but you know, uh, this watch dates back to 2007. The warranty card and guarantee card shows it from 2007. But you can see right now that it is uh, in fairly good condition, uh, very, very good condition actually. And of course, you know, um, being so shiny, you know, it has been polished before, but you can still see the shape, case locks, everything is as it should be. You know, it was probably lightly polished. Okay, so this is the reference 16622 Rolex Yacht Master. I'm just going to show you how it looks like here. That is the clasp. Okay, so we're going to take it out and then we'll talk about what else the watch comes with. Alright, so yeah, so you can see um, it comes with. You know the tags, the hang tags, okay? That is the serial number and also the model number, okay? And yeah, even the officially certified Chris Swiss chronometer tag. Uh, we've got the bezel guard here and the all the extra links as well are present, okay? So let's put it all in here and look at the watch. Oh, of course, um, show you the warranty card as well. It's in here, okay? So you, can see, see, so you can see the serial number as well as the reference number here, okay? Now this particular watch uh, comes with a box and papers, all right? It's over here, July 2007, and everything checks out as well. So the most important thing about uh, getting Rolex is actually the papers, which is this one here, and this is correct for the period 2007 watch. Okay, so this is the last time. Um, if you're wondering, like myself, you know, um, why doesn't it come with the Rolex uh, warranty card? Is because they only started issuing that much later, uh, probably about end of 2007 or 2008, and you start getting that green card. But before that, uh, the watches uh, will be period correct if they come with a warranty guarantee card like this. Okay. So let's get to the watch. It's such such a beautiful piece. Now, one of the things I really really like about this Rolex Yacht Master, okay, besides you know, I mean, what hasn't been said about the legendary thirty one thirty five movement? There's a thirty one thirty five Rolex movement in here, and you know, it's it's in the Submariner, it's in all the uh, other famous watches with the date. As well, it's been in production for what 20 over years with not much problems, and you know everyone knows that you don't really need to service a Rolex unless it stops moving. I mean, I've been asking people; they tell me this as well. I believe I'm not sure about the service history of this watch. Uh, it's in 2007, but I do believe okay it might have been serviced once in a lifetime. But if not, you know it's running per pretty well for its time. It's keeping time, of course. Um, you know uh, we want to test all the bezel functions as well. So if you can hear, this is actually the bezel movement, the bezel is perfect. It's a bi-directional -dire bezel as well. So it's much more convenient if you want to time things and everything. And of course, you know, it clicks perfectly. It's absolutely smooth. And, you know, um, yeah, you know, works how I believe a Rolex should be. Okay, you can have a look at the Cyclops lens here. It's a little raised, the sapphire crystal over here. And you can see the crown here. So this is the Rolex triplock crown. Okay, you can see by the 
three dots over here and uh, that means that it is that braided to you know probably up to 200 meters uh, but of course officially is only 100 meters okay so this is what um, we would call I, I don't know probably a new generation submariner okay because of how the lugs are and how it wears you know um, I think that it is really really beautiful for what it is now I'm gonna put it on the wrist okay so this bracelet has been sized for my wrist okay you can see it over here I have a 6 inch wrist which is not very large but if you look at it here you know how uh, lug to lug is only about 47 mm but it's not so much about that you know the submariner also doesn't have a very long lug to lug but it's the case design you know how how it actually curves down uh, of course if you come from here to here end link to end link which starting here to here is about 51 mm but it does not wear large at all I mean look at it it wears perfect even on a six inches and you know even though it's 40 millimeters diameter is 40 millimeters uh, 40 mm you know you can see how the links extend out and they have polished highly polished links in the middle and then going around of course this is going to be a scratch magnet here but so far you know I, I think uh, it's consistent with this with this age as well for a 2007 watch it is very very it's in very very good condition of course the dial is perfect it's immaculate you know no problems at all and with all Rolex watches you know how do you know if it's real or not you know you can always check um, a few things that can tell you know one of the things that you can really really tell if you know about Rolex watches is you just gotta unscrew this and wind the movement if you've handled enough watches before you know you would know how a 31 35 movement feels when you wind it and of course it is absolutely very very smooth uh, no resistance whatsoever so this is one of the main telltale times you know uh, telltale signs actually to know if the you know movement has been swapped is fake or anything okay it's a triple crown you can see over here uh, let me try to get in on camera okay so you can see the rubber seals over there and of course you know with the instantaneous date jump as well um, let me see if I can get it for you to see you know how the date jumps instantaneously you know, it is really amazing. Look at that. Amazing, isn't it? Right? So here. Yeah. And of course, it's a screwing crown for the water resistance. And of course, hacking winding. And you can wind it as well. So the other thing that you want to check out with watches like these is look at the platinum bezel, you know. Whether it's been over-polished, whether it still looks good. And also, you know, the edges over here. So the edges over here are fantastic as well. Okay, I will not say that they have not been polished, this whole watch, but you can see basically the platinum bezel, especially if it has not been taken care of, you know, it's very hard to restore the matte finish between the raised numerals and the indices on the bezel. So if you look at the picture, if you look at the video here and our pictures, you can see it's in fantastic condition. I don't think it's been refinished and also no problems with the bezel as well. Turns perfectly, lines up perfectly, okay? Another telltale sign, just want to let you know, to check on Rolexes, especially those with the rehot, is to have a look at the rehot in Rolex, you know, and the crown, how it lines up. So, so in in one of the telltale signs as well is to look at this rehot. I I don't know if I can capture it in a video. I'll try my best, but they should all line up exactly where the lines are, okay, and all around the watch. If they do not line up anywhere, then you know it's probably a telltale sign that it could be a fake. Okay, especially when you're paying for a luxury watch like this. Yeah, you can also see the uh, serial number over here. So that should match as well. It's a Zach serial number from 2007. So that also is consistent with the year that was manufactured in. Some, some serial numbers you can tell which year they were manufactured in. All right. Have a look over here. You know, it screws in. Uh, and also, if you want to have a look at here, uh, one thing good about the Yacht Master is, you know, it's all highly polished over here. Okay, with lots of curves highly polished with lots of curves so if you see it up close you know oh you can even see my reflection here um, so yeah you can see it up close you know it is really really refined it gives a feeling of luxury it gives a feeling of refinement it's i think this is sub i think this is you know if you're looking for a submariner um this could be a submariner 2.0 for you it could be okay i'm not saying it replaces submariner but it's you know it really gives like you know the luxury feel i mean come on 
to be honest, the Submariner today, you know, the Rolex Sub, it's not really a tool watch anymore, okay? It's a luxury timepiece. Everyone knows a luxury timepiece. It's not a real tool watch. You want a real tool watch, you know, go and get those um, proper diver, uh, di diving ones which, which you know, are, are used. Like, you know, probably a Tudor. A Tudor Pelagos is, will be a real, a real uh, diving tool watch today uh, comparatively, you know, with all the modern features. But if you look at the sub and you look at this, you know, you could add this to your collection if you had a sub because of the way it wears or you could actually skip the sub and go for a watch like this because you know um, if you I mean honestly if you compare that these retail these retail for you know about um, more, more than you know um, probably nine thousand US dollars ten thousand US dollars and you know right now right now the secondary prices and the price that we have here is very reasonable for this for this piece right now so and you're getting premium stuff you know you're getting the platinum bezel and also the platinum dial now if you look at photos and you look at the videos and how, I mean, this is natural daylight. You can see how it captures the light and it has a very wonderful shine or sheen on it. Um, and of course, you know, complemented and a fantastic uh, red tip hands as well. It, it just looks absolutely uh, amazing in the daylight and in the light as well as you wear it. So, you know, if you're going for a sub or you're looking for a sub or a GMT Master, you know, you can consider uh, this watch instead, you know. And surprisingly, you know, one of the impressions I have wearing this watch was, I mean, of course, putting it, you know, there's a sense of weight because of the platinum dial. You do feel it, uh, and it does feel very good. It feels very exclusive. It feels very refined, very luxurious. It gives you the very prestigious feel. I think that's what you want out of a, a Rolex uh, piece, you know, a modern Rolex, not the vintage ones. You know, there is a sense of achievement when you put it on. And I think that's how it makes you feel when you wear the Royal Master. But one of the things I was really concerned about was, you know, how would people notice this watch? I mean, the sub is so legendary, you know, sometimes for safety purposes, especially nowadays, you know, you wear this watch, you go around and you're a bit worried, right? And I put this on and I was wearing it for a while just to try it out. And I realized that, you know, surprisingly, it is quite under the radar. You know, it gives a sense of luxury. It gives a sense that when you look at it, you know it's a Rolex, but only for those people who are, you know, more of the watch uh, people, you know, they, they can't immediately tell the Submariner and things like that. They look at it, they sort of know it's a Rolex, it does look good, you know, it gives you the feeling. So it, in a way, it gives you, you know, it gives you the feeling that you're wearing a nice luxurious timepiece without being too worried, you know, of people noticing this. I mean, this could be a good and bad thing if you want people to notice you for wearing a very blingy watch. This is not it, okay, but this is one of those watches that can go under the radar because you know, you wouldn't know it's platinum, you don't know it's platinum uh, dial and platinum bezel. Uh, it has a little, little different shine compared to stainless steel, but, you know, you do feel it. You do feel the heft, you do feel the luxurious, luxurious feel. It is pretty amazing. The only thing about it is, uh, you know, the class, you know, some people complain about the class. Um, look, I don't think there's much of a problem. Even on the 6-inch wrist, you know, you can see here, it wears pretty nicely on the class, okay? And of course, if you have a bigger wrist size, definitely no problem. Um, it is secure, you know, but that's what you get for this generation class. It's actually not too bad. It's not too bad. There's some micro adjustments here. Um, it does wear very, very comfortably, you know, and that that is what you want in a luxury timepiece like this. So yeah, you know, pick it up from a watch shop, you know, twosecondswatch.com. Um, it's going to be on sale there, but I'm very sure this is such an awesome piece. Piece is... is I'm very sure it's going to be sold fairly, fairly soon, you know. So check it out now at the watch store, twosecondswatch.com, and you'll be able to purchase this piece, all right?